Hey everyone, Eric A. Bent here from SlashGear.com and today we're just going to take a quick look at the new LG Optimus L9 which is available at T-Mobile for only $79.99 which you might think it's, you know, it's going to be a pretty crappy handset at that price um, but actually I was surprised with how good it is um, let's just start out with the outside here we have uh, the volume buttons on the left side of the device on the bottom, we've got micro USB for charging and data transfer. We also have the power button on the right side. And then we have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the front. Now, there is an SD slot, a micro SD slot included in this, but it is inside the battery case, the battery cover. So there we've got SIM, and then we've got the removable battery. Uh, I'm not going to take it out right now because the phone's on, but just know that if you do want to remove the battery, you can. Um, we've also got, oops, there we go, we've also got a 4.5 inch screen at QHD resolution, so no full HD, but that's okay. I like the screen. It's still sharp and colorful and very bright, actually. And then we've also got these two uh, soft buttons down here for menu and back, and then we've got a physical home button, which I really like, and I think it makes the L9 look really good, actually. Um, on the inside, we've got a dual Cortex Instruments uh, OMAP 4430 processor running at just one gigahertz, uh, and that's working alongside one gigabyte of RAM. So it, it seems like you don't have a lot of power, but actually moving through the home screens is nice and fluid. And oops, this is the browser. But actually, while we're in here, let's take a look at gesture zooming which is where we'll open this up and then we can hold the zoom button nope, I don't think it went, oh yeah well it's not gonna work on Slash Gear's mobile site so anyway um, you would think that you know that combination the processor and the RAM wouldn't be very fast but actually you know swiping through home screens is fast and fluid as is the apps menu uh, so you really won't know that you don't have a lot of power under the hood. The only real problem is that it comes with um, four gigabytes of internal storage, which goes down to about 1.6 gigabytes after the OS and the pre-installed apps are accounted for. So you'll definitely want to get a micro SD card um, if you're picking up the L9. But yeah, uh, it's, it's a really good phone for 80 bucks. And I mean, if you're looking for a budget handset, you really can't go wrong with the L9, I don't think. The, the internal memory is a little bleh. But at least LG included a micro SD slot, so you can expand on that if you want to. Uh, but other than that, I, ha I have to say that I'm pleased. I'm surprised that the L9 isn't, you know, just a crappy phone that we can just shrug off and say, oh, well, it's 80 bucks. It's not that good. It's actually quite good uh, for 80 bucks, and it even, you know challenges some more expensive phones in terms of performance and in terms of uh, looks. I think it's a really good looking phone. Uh, but yeah, check out the full review over at SlashGear.com and thanks for watching.